Hello guys, be here with Scrappy Boy Stamps and today we're going to be making a super fun card and I know I say this every time, every single time that I come to make a card I always say we're making a super fun card but really all cards are fun <laughs> so uh, for this one I am going to be using one of the confetti plates but I'm not going to be making a shaker card uh, shaker, I know <laughs> But I'm actually going to be using some of, I don't know if the seahorse, the sea star or shells um, as accents for my card. But I'm going to be using that. And then I'm going to be using the Villanous Bombshells paper. And specifically, it's going to be this one right here. It's gorgeous. These purple flowers are everything, you guys. And then my favorite, we're going to use the Villanous Bombshells. I am going to use this one right here. She's like my favorite villain. Like, love her. And then, of course, I'm going to use this set. This is an older set. It's the Mermaidine. And it's still available for you to get. And if you are a fan of this girl right here, this one right here, this set. You have to have this set. Like, oh my gosh, I love her. But I'm gonna use her right here. Um, if I don't use her, I think I'll use her. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I. Use. But I'm gonna use one of those. And then I have the Fairy Tale Stage Coach mini album that I'm gonna use uh, as the front of my card. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I have all the pieces that I have cut with the Stage Coach mini album. Here's my card base. Um, this uh, mini album was already explained by my teammate. It was Brittany and I am going to link it below so you exactly see how she put it together um, it's very easy to put together if you follow the backside of the cardboard piece where the die comes very very easy I will speed it through this part a little bit but you'll be able to see what I am doing and I will try to explain a little bit also of what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and build our carriage. So here I have the uh, biggest or the largest die. It's not the stitch one. For this part, I am using wet glue. Um, I feel like I work better with wet glue than I do with the tape. I don't know why, but it's that way. <laughs> so I'm going to speed through this part again and uh, I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing. So here I'm just adhering the biggest one, like the die, and then this one is the stitch one. And I'm just adding glue and adhering on top of that pink cardstock that I already um, glued down. So for my curtains, like I use uh, vellum, but you can use like really any cardstock. I think even if you add like a, um, I don't know if you could add maybe a piece of fabric to a cardstock and cut it that way as well. It may look more realistic maybe. Um, you can also do maybe holographic paper for that cardstock, it will look nice as well. And now here I am adding the top part of the uh, carriage and you'll see that when you cut it out the heart comes out as well and you can cut that in different colors as I did here the same with the outline here of the door and the window you can cut it different colors make sure that you don't get rid of those two little pieces and the little piece in the middle uh, so you can actually use them here unless you want maybe transparent doors <laughs> I don't know you can also um, this part like where the coach is you know like the carriage that where people sit inside I don't know that's part it's called but um, that part uh, you can turn it into a shaker as well and it look really really pretty I don't know I love shakers and um, I always 
find ways to turn things into shakers <laughs> and then here i am just gluing my wheels um i realize that the wheels are not exactly the same position and uh, we're gonna roll with it it looks nice i think and then um this circle right here uh you can also like cut it in different colors as well to make it the wheels i think i for my um previous one that i made that you can see in my instagram uh, that one i i think i did it with gold um, to tone gold and it looked really nice and then you have the little door handles that are absolutely amazing they're so cute and then when you cut these little circles you're gonna have a bigger circle and a smaller circle so the smaller circle you need to cut twice and also the biggest one and i put them on the lamps and on the wheels like in the middle of the wheel but here's how it looking so far and i'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna go ahead and stamp as always for my stamping i am using memento tuxedo black ink um, i'm gonna color these as well we're gonna color it together make sure that you look on the right upper corner of the screen and that is where i'm telling you what markers i am using i am coloring with copic markers i feel like for her skin i went to purple it doesn't look bad but i feel like I could have stuck to maybe the more gray blue violets like the 23s the 30 around that those numbers that are more gray um, but I think she turned out good even though it's too purple I think her skin turned out too purple but I like her let's continue coloring I'll see you at the end She's done coloring I am gonna cut her out with my outline die guys I cannot stress this enough I know I say it every video but get your outline dies I didn't have the one for um, the mermaid and it's just a pain to fuzzy cut and here she is looking amazing I'm gonna set her aside and now we're gonna go ahead and color the mermaid
Now that my images are done, I have added some foam tape to the back of them and now I'm just gonna add them to my card. Here I'm also adding my sentiment with foam tape and you'll see that I have used one of the plates, um, this one that I think I showed you at the beginning and I have cut some of them in gold uh, glitter paper and then I'm just gonna add them around my car, a few here, a few there using my Barely Art glue. And this is how my car turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.